Hey Modern Miss Hugswools! Today I'm here to do another review. This review is going to be on Fido Finer, another vitamin brand that I um, have tried. So let's get right into it. Um, these come, I normally purchase them at, the first time I purchased them was at Beans, which is a really high end, really nice, um, what do you call it, beauty supply in Philadelphia on Walnut Street. And then the next time I got them was at Sephora. So most people just know to get them at Sephora online or in the actual stores. So this is how they're going to look um, on the shelf. I believe it's a French company. I could be lying to you all. Yeah, Paris. <laughs> it's a French company. So it comes on the shelf like this and it has a sleeve and then it's in a little box like this. And these are how the actual little bottles look. So with these, you get 120 tablets. You're taking two a day, so this comes in a two-month supply. So one bottle gives you a full two months to test it. So as I've said a million times before, I think that you should use a vitamin for at least two months before you can get a good idea. And these do not come in any lesser amount. So you, one bottle automatically gives you a two-month supply. That being said, though, these are on the pricey side. This runs you $59. So for some people to make an immediate payment of $59 that's way too much and I understand that I'll be doing another review on a lower price point but I just wanted to put it out there um, there's not a lot of reviews that I've seen women of color do on Fido so I just wanted to talk about this now my main motivation for using Fido initially was I was taking Hairfinity and I had taken Hairfinity for close to a year now Hairfinity as a company let me just flash it although I feel like everybody knows Hairfinity they do not believe in using omega-3 fatty acids or like fish oils in their um, in their hair vitamins and they claim that that's because there's been no proof or it doesn't exactly link to hair growth whereas Fido actually believes firmly in the use of fatty acids for hair growth so what got me really honestly to take these is as I started to learn more about hair I felt kind of guilty about the fact that I was taking vitamins really just for the, pur the vain purpose of growing my hair and not for internal health. For a long time I've actually suffered from high cholesterol and I've had doctors recommend to me that either I need to be taking prescription medications or fish oil. And I'm young, I don't believe I should be taking medications for things I could regulate on my own. So once again, think critically when your doctor tries to give you something. So um, I was taking hair affinity vitamins or hair vitamins that didn't have fish oil in them, but I wasn't taking fish oil, which I should have been taking for my cholesterol which is actually really good for you in general and I felt really guilty about that after about a year so I thought oh this is awesome I can kill two birds with one stone because these have a lot of omega-3 fatty acids in them so I could be benefiting my internal health in terms of my cholesterol and also my hair so that was kind of a, a large motivation behind me getting these and I actually did have my cholesterol get within um, back on good terms the bad cholesterol started to reduce and get right at the level it needed to be so that was really positive and something I felt really good about in terms of oh I discovered the mystery on my own kind of more holistically than listening to what the doctor said but listen to your doctors listen to your doctors they're medical professionals I'm not so um, unfortunately I don't have any more of these guys to show you but they're cute they're little little brown kind of beady pills really easy to go down I don't even want to say they're like a gel tablet they're almost like they're coated almost like candy they're they're almost like I don't know a little like M&M if you could think of that they're brown and they do kind of actually have a chocolate flavor to them I don't know if that was added to mask because sometimes if you've ever taken fish oil it does have a fishy type taste to it the omega 3's so I don't know if that was added to mask it but I've also heard other youtubers say it kind of has a faint taste of chocolate and it goes down really easily if you're a person because sometimes people say I hate swallowing pills it's very difficult for me if that's kind of your main factor or objective that you're looking for I would recommend these because they're the smallest of all the vitamins I've taken and they just really do glide down like almost like a swallowing a piece of candy so that is really positive the bottles really nice it's see-through it's clear they're easy to throw in your purse throw in your suitcase bag which is really nice one thing I will mention about these bad boys is they do tend to melt because they have that type of I'm not sure I'll call it candy coating for lack of better words they will start to melt and create yellow oil inside of here you can maybe see a little bit on this one I've cleaned these out probably but they they will kind of melt and create a yellow type oil and they can kind of get messy so that's one thing to think about these do need to be stored in kind of a cool environment and they can if they're in your purse or it's hot I took these my sisters and I went to Europe this past summer and I remember specifically when we were in Italy and it was really really hot they started melting so you do have to kind of think about that that's kind of a con but um in terms of pros, like I said, they do have omega-3 fatty acids. If you can look, I'll read it because it probably won't focus, but 
These have vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, riboflavin, vitamin B6, biotin, pantothenic acid, and then four fatty acids. So these don't have MSM, they don't have silica, they don't have selenium, they don't have all the vitamin Bs. So if you think about it, they're really not a good multivitamin, they're really not a comprehensive overall vitamin, they're relying a lot on the fatty acids as I said before. So these would be probably pretty good to take with some other type of vitamin or some other type of supplement if you wanted to create a full regimen. But I, I do recommend these though for a lot of people suffer from high cholesterol, including myself, even though I try to be active and eat well. So um, that's kind of my review of these. One other final thing is that these can sometimes cause your hair to get a bit oily. I saw another woman of color, another YouTuber, saying that as well, that she started taking these and she was experiencing her hair producing a lot more natural oils. And I do agree with that, not in a ridiculous, overwhelming way, but I do, I do remember sensing that it does produce a lot of natural oil on your scalp. Which is a positive thing, just know if, you, if your hair goes on the greasy side it may be a little bit overwhelming or you may have to use apple cider vinegar rinses or things to kind of redo your pH balance and, and, and purify and keep the hair from getting oily. But that's all that I have for Fido Finair. If you have any more questions you need me to go more in depth or elaborate on anything, please let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.